that I will not be available at 8 o'clock tonight. I'll be at WATP in Largo. How's everybody doing? Did a couple streams today, emergency streams. You know, so I'm here for one purpose only. I didn't really care if I did the stream today. Okay, where's that fucking Andy Chow at? Is he here? Where you at, Andy Chow? Show yourself. Show yourself, Andy Chow. Show yourself. Come on, get in the chat room. Let, 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 tell me how you do offer me $300 to do a 45-minute interview. Tell me. Tell me why you want to lie. Tell me. Tell me, Chow. Andy Chow. Don't worry. You got clearance. You're not gonna be. You're not gonna be banned today. Nobody ban Andy Chow, no matter what. Okay. Come on, Andy Chow. I'm. I'm seeking you out. What? But the more lies that you want to tell, huh? Come on. Show yourself, chicken shit. You want to do that interview? Send that money. We'll do the interview live right now. Let's go. But don't go say you off me because you off me shit, you chicken shit. I reached out to you and I told you what it's gonna be. You want to continue to be like them? Go ahead. You just keep doing it. Just remember, you ain't you ain't you you don't, you ain't fucking that smart, pal. So get Andy Chow's ass down here. We gotta we gotta we, we, we get ten of, we get rid of ten of them and then fucking three more thousand come. Let's go. I got too much of a busy day today after I do this walk for 45 minutes or an hour. Anybody ever hear of Bishop Bowinkle? Huh? Anybody ever hear about uh, who Bishop Bowinkle is, huh? No, 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 no. My name is Bishop Bowinkle. No, 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 no. We got here. I can call anybody I what I want, and he doesn't get in here. Okay? So don't tell me what I can and can't do. You matter of fact, matter of fact, see ya. Bye. The right. My Frenchman, how are you, buddy? My PayPal? It's been out there. People know what it is. You want, I mean, it's... Uh, I can't put it in the chat. You want to put it in the chat for me, Cupcake, or you just being, being a smart ass? If you want to really do it, put it in there. My PayPal is at JoeyC0120, if you could post that in there. At JoeyC0120, PayPal. My Venmo is at Joseph-Catalano-47. And my cash app is money sign uh, Joey C. Adrian Boy. Okay? I appreciate it, man. We, 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 you know, instead of, I got to start rephrasing it like, like Al Harili does. Goals. We have goals, you know. If we want to make this weekend perfect. Trying to work all the, you know, I'm nervous to beat all those guys because, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're something. They're talented, man. I'm just a nobody, you know. So, you know, even though I've streamed with all of them, you know, I talk to them regularly. But to meet them and shake their hand because of the work they do, I want to just congratulate them and tell them that, that I'm a true fan, you know. And that, that's what this is about. And me to get maybe meet some fans. Thank you, Cupcake. Thank you if you did that. Um, it, for me to get out with the fans and let them see the whole picture in person, and they, then they can make a judgment on me. Okay. And if they still don't like, some don't like, then that's fine. But I will be professional tonight. It's not my event. It got nothing to do with me. Uh, I'm just an invite that you know Carl wanted, wanted to let me get to meet the fans and and just help me out a little bit here since I'm so close. You know. I'm grateful for the opportunity. So hopefully after tonight, we can mend a lot of fences with people and they can see a different picture of us. I'm hoping. But we'll see. You love my... Thank you. I think, I guess. So that's it. That's, you know, if you guys are serious, but we may, we, get, we got halfway through the goal this morning. It was very generous. I'm very grateful for everything. I always am. And uh, Sunday, we got that special baseball stream starting at, uh, I think we'll do 7 o'clock at night. Try to a couple hours at least, two to three hours for sure. Got a lot to talk about. I'm going to be very fair, and I'm going to be very professional. But you know, there are probably going to be some people that are going to try me, to try to provoke me, to get me thrown out of there. Listen, I hunger. I, I worked in professional baseball all life. I've been to a lot of events. I know how to act. I know how to keep my mouth. I know how to curb myself. You know, I'm very good at it. So I'm going to just be the polite guy, unless they want to. 
get physical, then that's different. That's a different ball game. You know, that's a whole different ball game. But I ain't got like words with them. You know what I'm saying? I will be. I know how to be professional. I mean, I, I am a man and I am a human. You know, and I've been down these roads many a time. So people are gonna see a whole different side of me. My character, you know, Davros, is I'm an angry guy. I go after people that go after me. That's what my role is. Plain and simple. You know, if you don't see that by now, after 10 months, 11 months, then you don't, you can't even figure out anything. That's just me. Everybody's different personality. Everybody does, has a purpose when they, why they stream. Okay? That's who I am. That's how I'm built. I got a lot of friends in the Stabbers, especially a lot of the people that have shows. And I'm starting to get a lot of good, good fan base, friends to be very personal with them, you know? And I, and I love that. Okay? You can judge me after you meet me. Don't judge me by the cover. It's the dumbest thing you can do to anybody. Not just me, definitely anything in life. See me for what I really am when you see me in person. You know? Judge me fair. Give me a shot. Be fair to me until you think otherwise. Where's Broccoli? Uh, not Broccoli, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Andy Chow, not Broccoli. Andy Chow. Get Andy Chow's ass. Find him, tell him I want him. He wants a lie, say he offered me $300. He did, trying, trying to tell people to donate to me, not to help me, saying all these nasty things that he, oh, I don't want to work for 20, for 45 minutes. He never offered me shit. So come on and tell me how you offered me something, Andy Chow. Where you at? Let's get this shit over with. Send the money, and I'll do the interview. Do it right after my stream. Set it up. Let's go. See the money in the account? You got your 45-minute interview. Let's go. We'll get this shit out on the table today. Let's go. You want to be, you say you're going to give a great interview, fair interview? Let's do it. Let's do it. Then I'm going to put your mouth to bed for good. Afternoon, Chris Mack, my, my, my friend. How are you, buddy? I had to move it to the stream to Sabdu because I will be unavailable today. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna walk Sunday to make up for oh because of Monday, Tuesday, we at least make up for one of those days. So yeah, Andy Chow, that's who I'm looking for. Where's he at? He's been leaving comments all day trying to tell people not that you know that I'm a piece of garbage. He's only gonna tell if since I won't interview him, he never off me. He's lying. He's just trying to bait me. He's gonna just tell what the, what the what people say about me. So he's gonna write untruth about me. That's that's the kind of guy he is. So I should let I should let this guy interview me because based on what he said, that yeah, that's what he said. I'm, if you won't let me interview you, then I'll just tell what people are telling me. So if you're if you if you're this big interviewer and a big reporter, you want it, you want the real truth, not just because they say something. And that's what I mean about these guys. They're all they're all Andy Chow. I just haven't figured out which one of them he is. So you know, if he thinks he's gonna get me and get me all work. Listen, I know you're a troll, child. I know you're one of them, but I'm going to call you out on it. Send the 300. Let's do the 45 minutes. Let me see what you want. You, you made the comment. It's public. So now back to talk up. I'm here. I'm here. Put the money. Send the 300. Let's do the interview. Let me see. Let me see if you're a true man because you're not. Fucking guys are all fucking idiots, man. He'll hide. I, I slept, replied to him and he'll hide and then he'll pop up when he knows that I'm on and he'll start sending a little stupid ass comments again. This guy used to troll me and he disappeared because I, I banned his ass and he gave, and he didn't, you didn't see him for months. Now he's back. That's how I know it's one of them. It's one of the ones that they, one of their sock accounts they didn't get caught with. No one's figured it out yet. Most of the other ones, we, we, we've got them all buried. So, you know. This one here, they, they were smart. When it got hot, they, got, they went away. They wanted to keep this one, so just it's one. It's one. It's one of them. So without a doubt, in my mind. So. My favorite Olive Garden dish, uh, probably the chicken broccoli Alfredo is one of them. You know, I like the Olive Garden because their their sauces are not, you know, they're not bland. They're not real rich, but I would say that. Yeah, broccoli chicken is a good one. I like ravioli, I like lasagna, you know, mastacholi, baked ziti. I like them all, man. I'm going to tell you, I like all the pasta dishes, you know. Just can't fill up on those carbohydrates like I used to, you know. That's something I only could do maybe once a month, you know, and just a small portions, you know. So, towards all the gold chains, you'll see tonight when I get take, send out, when I do those pictures of me and Miss C. You'll see. You'll see how, how we look tonight. Okay. 
This is me being a hunter. This is how I roll. Okay? You need that chain? All right. All right. Come, come, come take it. I'll give it to you. Come on. Where, where I was, you know, no package came. People witnessed it, like, that's why I live streamed through the package came. I, you know, I paid the $2.99. They said they'd be there before 4 and 8. They came over what, about 6 o'clock or something. Two ladies came and dropped it off. That's why I got up at 3.30. Because a lot of times when I get stuff at Amazon, there's no doorbell. They can't get up to the apartment. So I got a sign on the door, call my number. You know, call me. Went in downstairs, I could go down and get the package. Some drivers do, some drivers don't. And then they, they post, we made the attempt, we'll try to get... You know, that's bullshit. So I don't want to take a chance because I'm glad because these ladies were not, they didn't speak English. They probably they didn't even get out of the car. They probably wouldn't even get, they would have pulled up. It's all a strip mall that was closed. They wouldn't even think there was a property. They would have thought it was a bad address. So that's why I got up and went down there and waited. I had no choice. You know, I, I got to do that a lot. So. so, you know, for everybody that was being a, a jerk off this morning, saying all the stupid things, you know, I mean, they want to call out me out on that. I never denied it was. I, I never denied all, from over 30 years I was. I was a drug addict. Ain't no more. I'm a recovering addict. Big difference. Cupcake with his little comment that he made. I'm just slurring your words. Yeah, I was tired. I only had a couple hours sleep because I was pumped up because I'm, I'm uh, about this event tonight, man. I'm pumped up. I'm really looking forward to it. You know, to me, it's a big honor for me. To be in great in the presence of greatness, you know, as far as I'm concerned. And John might come, he's popping off because I think he's down in two hours from his house. So if he shows up, you know, he's gonna come on his motorcycle. You know, I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but I'm not gonna let him do anything stupid to Carl. I'll get I'll get between John and tell back him off. So if he does show up, I will not let him do anything to Carl. So but I'm not gonna let the fans do anything to John either. So just know that. Know that up front. If John does come, I'm not going to let him go near Carl, but I ain't going to let the fans go near John to mess him up. We ain't going to be doing none of that shit. It's one of those situations that, you know, you got to do the right thing. You got to be the guy that steps in if it needs to be, right or wrong. But I don't think he's going to come. I think he's just blowing smoke up everybody's uh, rear end. So, But if he does, he's going to come and target Carl. And I won't let that happen. Carl's too nice of a guy, man. Carl don't bother nobody, man. He's a phenomenal podcaster, a phenomenal person, and uh, I have mad respect for him. El Horrible called me a little while ago, busted my balls. So, but we had a laugh, and Carter was in the back screaming. They were laughing, but we, it was fun. They called me. He goes, Are you leaving me messages all night? I left you two messages. When you get in, call me. I did it a second time. I mean, these guys like the fucking. This. Rile me up, boy. But nah, I love those guys. I don't know what Tukey's got planned tonight. But he said we're going to hang out tonight after. So who knows? I'm looking forward to it, man. Really am. Fortunately, I just don't drink, you know. So you know, I'll drink water. and I can still have a good time. I don't have to get drunk. You know? And then someone said that uh, I'm going to California to do drugs. That's a new video that just came out. Just because someone said, here, I'm gonna, you got to try mushrooms. I mean, I, I don't never done a mushroom. I'm not planning on doing any drugs when I go to California. So the idiot, we know who did it. He needed his 40 views or 30 views. He needed to do it. That's why. Another fucking bullshit lie, boy. That kid just better stay where he lives. That's all I'm going to say. Better never step foot in the United States. Once an addict, always an addict, but I'm a recovering addict. There's a fucking difference. You understand that? I know I'm always going to be an addict when I look in the mirror, but I'm a recovering addict. There's a difference. Recovery means I don't do drugs no more, you moron. Okay? Now, don't give me that lecture, right? There's no difference between a recovering addict and an addict. There's not. A recovering addict don't do drugs anymore. You're such a fucking idiot, man. You are. That's what always used to piss me off by. You think you got wisdom and you think you're smart and you're not. You're about as dumb as a box of rocks. How many 12-step meetings have you been doing in your life? I want to know. Fucking idiot, man. Big difference between an addict and a recovering addict. Fucking stupid ass. Matter of fact, listen to me. 
That's it. I, I, he gets no more. Don't ever let the cupcake in here again. Fuck him, man. Fuck him. I, I'm done with this guy, man. Guy, the dumbest fucking idiot I ever, ever fucking could ever, should have never got involved with this guy, man. Why would I relapse? But I understand that. I, I've been clean for a long time. I got no desire. I'm too old. I don't want to fucking die. It already destroyed my body, man. Fuck that, man. I'm too smart for that. It's over. I've got it out of my system. Too many years doing it. I don't need it. Just like I, when I gave up alcohol in 2007. I'm done. Cocaine, 2000, done. Just like that. You know? I'm a strong-willed guy, I told you. When I get my mind right, I can do anything. So, anyhow, I think someone put up the... We're halfway to our goal, man. I just want to have a real good weekend. And, uh, you know, you guys seem to find the heart to, to help other people. So, you know, I think I deserve it just as good as anybody else because I've been hit hard by everybody. Worse, probably the hardest that anybody's ever been. And I took it, I handled it, and I'm here still. So, you call whatever you want. I don't really care. Those little videos everybody puts up don't mean shit. They don't get no traction. None. So. Thank you, uh, uh, Sapphire. Thank you. Hey, Ralph Cramden, what's happening, man? How you been? Joey, two words. Good morning. All right, Vince DeLore, how are you, Vince? Good morning to you, buddy. There's a good guy. Vince DeLore, I don't care what anybody says about him. I always like him. Good guy. Vince DeLore is a stand-up dude, man. He is, man. He's he's funny. He does a great podcast. He, you know, he don't, he, he'll come at you and tell you, you know, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do this. You should be more professional. He's right. You know, he's, he's, he's throwing some advice in my way. To be successful, you got to be professional. And anything, anything you do in life, you should treat it like, a, like as professional as you can. He's right. There's no doubt about that. That, first and foremost, is a great advice anybody can tell you. I know that. Problem is, problem is, I let my temper get in my way. That's the problem. Any chance of joining WWE, World Wrestling, that, is that what that is? I think you're talking about, I don't I mean, I'm not into wrestling, but congrats on fighting. Well, I just fight for what I believe in. I mean, I don't, you know, guys, I don't know if some of you guys m might be new here. If you have to follow me the last 11 months. I've been, I, they came at me hard, man, harder than anybody. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't just take it and, and let them do it and go away. I, I bit back every time. So it turned me into a, turned them into on a mission to try to destroy me, which, you know, they did. So it doesn't matter. Like I told them, and I've told them over and over, anytime they want to go face to face, we can do that too. They won't, so it don't matter. Just telling them, you know, I'm, don't think you're going to run me off anywhere. So, you know, they're mad because I don't talk about them no more. I don't, I don't acknowledge their little stupid ass shit. You know, dumbass emails they send. They're just dumb. They know it. They know what they are. They know how much of a rat they are. Scumbags they are. They know that. Without a doubt, they know that. They don't care. My neck is not turning green. And it's pretty humid out here. Why would my tech be turn be green, you bitch? Because of, because of this? Why don't you, well, you, got, you got jokes, huh? Here. Why is your foot green? Oh, gangrene. They got to cut it off from all the disease you got. Dumbass, bitch. Right, we'll get rid of this guy. He's not allowed here either. Dale is definitely not allowed here. Goodbye. No, 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 no. Thank you. Hey, pool scab. Where you been, pool scab, Sam, man? Where you been at, man? Yeah, they're in first so impressed. Okay, okay. All right, all right. You got your little phone. Hey, Doom, how are you? <laughs> doom, 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 doom. How are you and the missus doing, man? Having a blessed day, I hope. You guys, you got to look up Bishop Bullwinkle. 
You, he died in 19. Go listen to Bishop Bowie go right now on YouTube and play his song. Na 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 na. I wish I could play it right now. What a badass song, man. Old man wearing a white suit with a white hat. Pulls up on his bicycle. We've got a church. Go listen to Bishop Bowinkle. Pull his na-na-na song. Everybody should listen to that song. It's got a great beat. Trust me on that. Spring training, yeah. Probably going to the game tomorrow. I don't know. I've been to a baseball game in a long time, man. Since I retired in 15. Doom. Doom, doom, doom. Ah, I gotta go back. I gotta I gotta get all ready. I gotta leave my house at 415, I think. It's only about a 45 minute ride, I think. Man, I can make it less, but that's gonna be traffic and the bridge and going across 275 is gonna be it's off by Alberton and 49th Street, so yeah. I'm gonna take an Uber. If I was gonna drive, I would take I'd probably take Uber. I don't wanna drive. I wanna be relaxed. You know, so I'll be taking Uber across the bridge. I think it's catching the right time out 35, 40 bucks, I think. You know, so each way. Might be a little cheaper at night, depending on you catch the right right time slot. Na 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 My name is Bishop Winkle Bo Winkle. Na 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 I got his lyrics right here. My name is Bishop Bo Winkle. I got the first church of nothing but the truth. Whoa, motherfucker! Motherfucker almost hit my ass. Well, they pay attention. I stopped in the middle of the morning. They pay attention. They're all coming. That's how. That's how stuff I could be. I would have got wiped. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have lived to that. If I would have been, every bone would have been shattered. What else is new? Do I care? Nah. Meant to be is meant to be. I told you. Nobody of a human race can harm me. I've been charmed by the only thing that can kill me is someone spawned for the devil. Someone in you, that's the only thing that can take me out of this world. No one of human life form can take me out. It must be a spawn of the devil. It's the only way I could die. That's a fact, I got a charm life. And that's what I was told a long time ago by one of those little old gypsy ladies, that, you know, fortune tellers. It's a fact. Chicago's got a lot of gypsies, a lot of fortune tellers. You go with 24 hour signs in her in her living room window on all every block. Get your fortune, see your future. You know? Charm life. I gotta believe that to be true. I was almost taken out three different times in my life, so and I lived. I guess that she was right. I got a charm life. Bullet, nothing can stop me. The only thing that can kill me is something inhuman, something spawned from the devil. Joseph Samuel, why I got a charm life. Don't believe that shit, but it's true. Na 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 na. Keep hearing the fucking. But that was that guy in the bike here, the fucking radio. Na 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 na. Nah. But nobody's out. Where's all the homeboys at? All sleeping. Supposed to rain all day. How much, how much longer we gotta walk? We got seven more minutes this way in the back. I gotta get back. I got a lot to do. Take pictures, you'll see. I bought my wife a badass velour sweatsuit. Badass shoes. She's gonna look sharp, man. She's gonna look sharp. I told her she got to start letting me dress. Cause I, I know I, I could dress to impress. I could, I'm good. I'm good at fashion. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But weapons are mortal weapons are her powerless. That's right. It's the truth. It's the truth. You know. That's something I'm proud of. It's got to be something in humans. It's got to be spawned from the devil. That's the only thing that can take me out. I can't even take myself out. With all the way I, the drugs I did in my life, I'm still here. I should have probably been dead a long time ago. No. So that means I can't even take myself out. I'm human, right? I got a heart, so it's got to be spawned from the devil. It's only, right now, if somebody fired at me, I wouldn't die. I'm telling you. So why don't someone go get a gun and come shoot me and we'll, we'll prove it, all right? Come on, come on, one of you guys come and just point it, pull it, and you'll see I'm not gonna die. I can't. Charm life. 
No, Spider Alvin doesn't live in this state. He was more than welcome to do anything come with us, but he's not here. He lives on the East Coast. We are going to, he is going to go to California, though, in May. Where's that boy? Is that my boy Heckler? Hey! No, I'm not smoking weed, brother. I don't intend to either. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't smoke weed, bro. Okay, you, know, you guys are offering me mushrooms, and then now they're making bigger stories and videos. That I'm going to go. That I'm going to be. I'm going to fall off from being a from being a recovering addict. I'm going to go back to drugs. I mean, just because you guys are saying you need to do mushrooms, just because you guys are saying, don't mean I. This idiot goes and makes a video saying I'm going to. I'm going back to drugs. What an idiot! What a loser! You know, you know who it is, Act right? The guy, he got the ammo, and that's it. It's not your fault, man. But this is how these guys are, man. But you said it yourself. I didn't ever said it myself. A lot of people suggested I should smoke weed. It'll calm me down. I don't want that desire to do anything, or, or just people something to do much. It'll calm me. I don't want that anything like that. I don't want any drugs. I'm done with drugs. You know how I get mellow? If I say, Joe, get mellow. That's how I get mellow. Yeah, my boy Hack right. I love Hack right, guys. Everybody support Hack right. You guys should all be all over. He guy puts out great content. You guys need to become members. You need to really. Hack right is, is a is a true person, man. He's a good dude, man. Guys should never ever ever do anything bad to Hack right, man. Just be be. He's a friend, man. He'll help anybody. He's a good dude. Have fun tonight, buddy. Baby, baby doll. Yeah, I will, baby doll. I won't take you out. All right, buddy. I know you're the only one, Hack, right? You're the only one that can be, make me my demise. It's got to be someone unnatural, brother. Charm life. Nobody of human space with a heart can do it, brother. A demon. Only someone spawned from the devil could take me out. Uh, they told me that a long time ago. And I've already proved that three different times in my life. So that lady was right on the money. It's, she told me that way before anything happened to me. And I, where I was pressed up against death every time. So she was right. That's, you, let me tell you something. People don't believe in that stuff, but it's real. Santeria, black man, that stuff is all real. So I've seen it. I've seen Santeria work, both black magic and good magic. Why do I wear fake chains? Because when I went to prison, all my real gold was stolen. All my good watches were stolen. All my collectibles were stolen. My house was taken. Everything. That's why. And what do you care what I wear? You, gonna, you want me to wear fake? Go buy me your real thing. Okay? Or shut up. Okay? You just jealous because you can't pull it off because you're a dweeb. Shut the fuck up. Don't worry about what I do. Okay? Don't worry about yourself. Don't worry about you. Might, you might get banned from my chat room. You keep running your mouth. Some chat rooms are friendly. I don't care. I'm not friendly. We're trying to figure out if I'm a narcissist. I'm going to start seeing a psychiatrist to see if I'm a narcissist. Maybe I'm just like John. Maybe I am a narcissist. I don't know. We'll see. If I am, I am. What's the difference? What else to do? Another label for me. Like, I really care. I don't care about labels. I don't care about idiots. I don't care about... People that don't have common, I, I care about people that don't have common sense though. I can't stand that. I can't stand someone that's brainiac with no common sense. Worst thing in the world. To listen to someone that's got so much smarts and has no common sense, I want to puke. I really do. Have book smarts and street smarts and common sense, then you're then you then you're gonna be. Gotta have both. Why do you wear? Why do you wear? Why do you wear? Why do you come in my chat room? Let's see. Can you start covering? Oh, my lost interest. I was, you know, I was just gonna reach out to you. It's funny that you're here. I love my lost interest, brother. It's gonna get surreal after tonight. Clip as much as you can on me, brother. You're one of the best. You and Citizen M. You guys need to start clipping. Start clipping me and start putting it together, brother. Because I'm gonna give you guys some good stuff. And I think the world of both of you guys, you and Citizen M. You guys are the best. So. You're doing so wonderful. I, I I go and watch all your stuff. I hit the like button. Trust me, I'm loyal to it, brother. I'm loyal. Same thing with Sid. I do. I go back and I look and I watch. You've always been kind to me. 
So that's how I repay you back by going to watch your stuff and, you know, sharing it and uh, liking it. You know, I'm going to start doing that now. I'm going to start putting it up on all my, share it on all my stuff, man. Because you, you're just doing a great job, man. Doing a great job. Dabble verse needs more people like you and Citizen M, man. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Huh? No, I don't need to. Who is that asking me? Heck, right? What donation, bro? I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't do stuff I don't know nothing about, man. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, just, I'm not saying I, I trust you with everything, but you know, you're talking about some psychedelic shit, man. And I, I don't want to get a bad. I don't want to be doing something that, that's gonna trip me out or something, man. I don't know nothing about it, man. I'm being honest. Never done anything like, never smoked weed, nothing, man. Never. You know, so I'm not saying you're right. I'm definitely not saying you're wrong. Okay, I'm just saying. I, got, I don't know, man. It's just something I'm, something I'm just not prepared for, man. I would, you know, I don't know. I, I know you're trying to keep me at a at a happy level all the time and calm, but you know, you got to remember, I was a bad addict. So putting any type of drug in my presence is not probably a good thing. Could lead me back to other things. You understand what I'm saying? That that's my fear. I was a bad addict, and I know that. I know that without a doubt. I tell myself that every day when I look in the mirror. So I'm not ashamed to say that. I was a bad addict. I mean, I just. I, I convinced myself 99% of the time that I needed it to, for my body to function, you know, and that it, I wasn't getting high off it. I was just, it was, it was, it was, it gave me my, you know, it rejuvenated my bones and, you know, all my arthritis. And I consoled myself on that, brother, for years. And then I was so wrong, you know, I was so wrong. All it was doing was, was making me more of a cripple, you know, it took a lot of years for me to realize that. Mushrooms aren't the kind of thing you can really. I mean, Chris Beck, he, he he tells me all good things, things you can really get. Uh, okay, addicted to. I understand that, but what I'm I'm more afraid will lead me down the road to other bad things. That's all I'm saying, man. You know, that's my fear. You know, that's my fear. I don't even know what it does. What's the reaction? I don't even know what it is. You know, when I hear mushrooms, it's the things I cook when I want to have eat them. You know, I, I don't even know what it is, what it looks like. I don't. You know. Being as honest as I could be here with that, man. Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I trust Hackwright implicitly. He's he's a he really is a true guy, man. He, I mean, he would never hurt anybody intentionally, man. But for me, you know, got to I just got to keep it in my back of my head. I was a bad addict, and I don't want it to say. Damn, man, I'm fucked up, man. Let me go do some cocaine. Let me go do some meth. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get those thoughts in my head. You know what I'm saying? And that might make that happen, you know, to trigger something. That's what I'm afraid of. Because I don't want to ever, ever go backwards to that, ever. Because if I ever went back on that at this time, the binge would be so bad, it would be nothing but destruction. Bad for everybody. Bad for everybody. I will probably become a machine. And, and, and dehumanize myself if I ever went back to drugs. I know, because when you stay clean and you go back, especially as hard as many years as I did it, it will turn me either to die or in, down the roads of meeting that person that is the spawn of the devil to, to do me in, you know? I would be not a good person. And I don't want to be, I don't want to do that, man. That's my fear. I appreciate everything, though. Appreciate that. You're, you're looking at my best interest at heart. You're just trying to keep me calm and happy. I'm I'm okay here, man. I'm a, I, I really am. I'm excited about tonight. This is one of the, you know, a lot of people. It's not a big deal to me. It's a big deal because I look up to these people. They're funny. They're talented. You know, they 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 bring me entertainment. You know, they 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 all part of helping me get my name out by talking about me almost every show. I was the first, the only guest that ever appeared on Tuki Soup as a stream, as a, as a podcast, they've had people call in, but I was the only one that's ever been a guest on Tuki ever, you know, even though a lot of it's just a goof on me, but you know, all them shows put me on the map, man. You know, Tuki, the first 12 episodes, man. I mean, he highlighted it was me about me, you know, goof it on me, but it's what it took, man. 
it took me to keep being crazy and nuts to get my name out there. You know, I did it. You know, I put a lot of hard work into that. So, you know, and my original reason was just to get my soul back, to get to get to get, to get laughter back in my life because of all the tragedies that I put myself through. You know, and I wind up just becoming an a- angry, bitter guy. You know, I turned myself back into an angry, bitter guy. That's what I did by doing by doing that. So I said I pull slowly pull myself out and start getting my mind right to where I originally started to do. And then I get back, I'm back on track now, see? My original plan had all the intention to just get my soul back and, and to get laughter back in my life because of all the tragedy I had in my life. And it backfired on myself because I got, I took things too personal. I got too angry, too angry. angry. I got so angry that I wanted to, you know, it just wouldn't have been pleasant, you know what I'm saying? And I had to recognize and stop. And all the good people that recognize I'm a good person, they, they pulled me out of it, they helped me, they talked to me, family members, people that I know online people that other podcasts they, they the ones that really cared enough to to guide me to bat out for that man you know hack right worked harder than anybody he might not have got a hundred percent results of what he'd like to see me at but i know he's satisfied because he knows i listened to a lot of stuff he told me. i did a lot of people did and there's a people that gave me a lot of bad advice i think they know everything you know so if wasn't for hack right if it wasn't for shuli if it wasn't for bob you know, guys like that. Some of the fans, like Chris Mack, always gave me good wisdom. Uh, Ross Dog, the newest one, giving me, you know, keep me positive with baseball. Uh, Kai and his wife. There's so many people that played an instrumental part of me that believed in me to keep me positive. My wife, but, uh, you know, she's the one that beats me up every day to be positive. And then it's because she's my wife. I'm like, she feels like I just don't want to, I don't listen to her, and I do. She's the one I listen to more than anything. It's just I, I don't show. You gotta understand. I I wasn't showed a lot of love growing up. It was that wasn't part of anything. My mom my mom wasn't. She was a strong woman, and she just didn't. She had to be a mom and a dad, so she didn't have time to be all lovey dovey. You understand what I'm saying? So I didn't get that as a kid. So I was tough loved, and I was taught to stand up for myself and, and how to fight when I, when I needed to. And you know, those are the things that I was taught. You know, so that's why. Hack right on the stand because we had the deep talks. He knows that I'm like I'm like the protector. I'm the protector of the gate. So when anybody's harm that's close to me, no matter who it is, I go in defense mode and, and protect mode for all anybody, friend, family, anybody that's a part of my life that I care about deeply. And it's time now. Hack right tried to say that that that's that, 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 that merited, and it's it's uh it's a good it's a good you're a good person for that. But now it's time to. Break out of that and take care of yourself. He's right. My wife's been telling me that for the last five years, man. It's time to take care of you. Forget about trying to save everybody. Trying to help everybody. You know? You taught your kids right. If they make mistakes, they got to fall. Just like anybody else. They're, she's right, you know? Kids got to fall. You can't be there to catch them every time and baby them. That's what I That's I always protected everybody. My friends, anybody. That's how I am, man. I'm really a, that way. Anybody that I love, their enemies became my enemies. That's how I am. You know, that's my, that's the true me. So, you know, I got a lot of faults. Of course, we all do. My intentions are always good. For the most part. Now, I could be just as, 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 as protective as I could be. By enemies, I could be very, very, how could I say it? A very psychotic human being towards people that are not in my circle or not that who try to hurt me. You know, I'm one of them guys, you got to cut cancer out of your life when cancer's trying to kill you. So, enemies are cancer. You got to cut the head off for the tail to die. That's the type of guy I am when it comes to that. So, and that's not good. I don't want to be that guy no more. You know, I want to ignore my enemies and I want to just love the people I love that's dear to me. You know what I'm saying? And my new friends, you know, I want to just have a good time, man. I mean, we're not promised tomorrow. Nobody's promised tomorrow. You know, at any given time, the Lord could come down. The good Lord could come down and just say, it's over. I'm taking everybody home. When that happens, what happens when God does that? 
you know. So we don't know that. God, we don't know what God's going to do and when he's going to do it. So that's just how it is. A lot of people say there's no God, but that's your belief. But there is. I'm down someday. And not all of us are going to be going. So everybody's a sinner. Everybody's got to answer. Everybody. To a higher power at some point in life. So I'm smart enough to understand that. I'm going to sit down for a minute and read some of these chats, man. Let's see what we got. Pack right. Mushrooms isn't a, a drug. It's a extra beer. I know, Pack right. I'm not saying it is, brother. Back to deep into the past. I, I, I trust you, brother. I'm just saying, I just got to make sure, man, you know. You know. Mushrooms will take you, take you straight, huh? <laughs> Take you straight to hell. That's what I'm saying, man. I, I just, for me, I appreciate it because you do them and you understand them. It's probably just not good for me, brother. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, this. I just gotta to stay clean. I, I can't do anything, you know. You know, whether or not it's addicted or not, it's still a drug, and I, I, I have to stay true to my my sobriety for everything. You know, even if I if I drank a beer, that's breaking my sobriety, and that can drinking one beer can lead me down a road of destruction. That's why I don't drink. You know, meditation. I mean, a lot of people suggested meditation. But I'm not a reader. I, I I don't read well. I don't have comprehension, reading comprehension too well. I don't spell well. So it's just not an option for me. It's too late. I I, I have a, a, a you know it's I have a uh, what's that called uh, a very relaxed brain when it comes to certain things and uh, I just I, I'm very creative and I'm not I'm no dummy but I just. It's not in the books, man. It's just not. It's, it's psychedelics. Are, okay, okay, I got to read. read I, I want to try to read all this. It says, uh, if psychedelics are good enough for PTSD, building. I'm not saying it's not, brother. Believe me, I'm on your side with this. I'm just saying for me, it's just not a good idea. That's all. Bad people lead you down bad roads. Stay off the highway, Joey. I hate Bob. My... This is a man I talk about every day, right, buddy? People, I, I praise my friend Bob Levy. I I can't wait till I get to just give Bob a hug and thank him. Because Bob Levy, man, I wish I'd have known Bob Levy for the last... Me and Bob are pretty close to the same age. I wish I'd have known Bob Levy the last 40 years. Because that one motherfucker, I got so much respect for Bob Levy. There was a guy that, like me, he had a, he had a snort fuse like me. You didn't mess with Bob Levy. He understands me. That's why. That's why he's so... That's why he sees me for me, because Bob Levy understand me, because he was that same guy like me. You know, I wish I could have grown side by side with Bob Levy the last 40 years. Me and him would have been hell on wheels together. We would have been hell on wheels. Nobody would have messed with us. Nobody. Now, I promise you that. I love you, Bob. I appreciate you coming in here, man. I really do, man. It means a lot. I'll give you a call. I'll give you a call in a couple of days, buddy. Big, big weekend for me. I'm going to the Carl. I was invited to Carl's thing. So um, my first time up to be out in the public with the fans, Bob. And I know what you tell me. Just do it, man. Have fun. And I'm going to have fun this weekend, Bob Levy. Thank you for being here, Bob Levy. Bob Levy, man. I love that guy, man. I really do. I got more respect for Bob Levy than a lot of people, man. I just wish I would have known Bob because I would have walked, walked side by side with Bob. Every fight everywhere, man. Bob Levy, man, he, he was he was a guy you didn't want to mess with, man. He, he, what he believed in, he did just like me. When he believed in something, he didn't, people don't tell him what to do. He took care of business. You know? Okay, Cack, right? I, I believe you, brother. I really do. I know. I understand that. I understand that. You know I believe everything you've ever taught me and, tell, and tell, try to help me with. Don't bite the apple. The forbidden fruit. I understand that, Cack, right? I understand that. Are made in a laboratory. Okay, well, I don't know that. I don't I know nothing about them. I'll, I'll 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 do some studying on them just to get a better understanding for it. But you know, I still under, For me, I'm just saying it's a, uh, it's 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 more of a, you know, I just want to not put anything on anything unnatural in my body anymore. No, these chains are not real. They're bling bling, fake fake. All my all my real shit got stolen. Now, see, if I was a liar, like I said, I would say they are. You know, it's just for show, brother. Anyhow, like I said, we have a goal. 
we got halfway to the goal this morning. I'm trying to just be able to go out with everybody tonight and tomorrow, and and, and, and uh, you know, so we're 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 we're, we're, we're looking for that uh, real support, you know, like uh, contribute, you know, to the cause, you know, just like everybody else has. Like when when El Haribe goes on and Tuki's asking for when he's travel funds or or whatever he does, he gets it, you know. He asks, nobody says he's begging. I mean, come on, man. I'll be the begging, man. How else am I gonna ask? You know. Everybody came through this morning. I got about halfway through. We need to, we need to get about so at Joey C zero one two zero is my PayPal. At Joseph Dash Catalano Dash forty seven is my Venmo. Money sign. Joey C Adrian Boy is my cash app. I, you know, you guys know I'm demonetized for the next. Uh, let's see, what's today's date? Twenty seconds. So we got eight days left. 30, uh, nine days left this month. Thirty next month. That's 39, 59 days left. And we're going to be reapplied. But by then, we might be off of YouTube. We might not even be worrying about YouTube platform anymore. So, you know, I got a lot of things to work. So, I mean, Rumble's nice. Rumble rants to me are the same as Super Chats. People, how you doing, buddy? You know, so it's like I said, it's time for the fans and I to get out and get out in front of everything, all the bad blood, and let's let you see me for who I am. Then, make, then you can make judgment on me. Don't be listening to people and, and falling in that shit. Meet me and judge me the right way. We shouldn't judge anybody, but if that's what it takes to show that I am a real person, everything I say is truthful. I am accountable for all my bad actions. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to admit if I'm wrong. And when you see that, I think you guys are gonna make a big turn on me to say he is a good guy. I'm pretty confident that's gonna happen. So. And there's gonna be people that are They're just not gonna, and I'm okay with that. Just, just, just be smart about it. That's all I can say. You know, just be smart about it. Biggest mistake you can make is trying to is trying to get get me in a corner, because that is war. And I don't talk about war. I'm not nobody. I will strike back. I will fight back. I'm not afraid to get hit. I'm not afraid to be put in the hospital. I'm not afraid to have a bone broken. I'm not afraid of none of that. Not afraid of nobody six foot five, six foot ten, seven foot five. I'm not afraid of nobody. I want to be a nice, calm, friendly guy with everybody. So that's my goal. That's my true goal. So if you can't if you can't get past liking me, I accept that. Just don't be stupid about it. That's all. I'm being as nice as I can to tell you that. Because you're not going to get someone to run and be scared. You're going to get something that you probably don't want. So that's how crazy I am. Even if I know, Jesus, man, this guy might put a hurt on me. I don't care. I don't think like that. I don't ever go in fear and say, I'm going to, because then you lose automatically. We'll give it my all. That's what crazy people do. They give it their all. So. so we'll be ending the stream when we get to my door. So you guys want to help to the, you guys want to help, uh, Raise the rest, uh, you know, for uh, for uh, for the goal. We're 200 from the goal. That'll put us good for the whole weekend, and we'll be very grateful. And uh, I'll be taking pictures. I'm gonna go home shower. We're gonna get ready, and we're Mrs. C, Mrs. C gonna look fine tonight. She always does, but she's gonna look good. She's a, let me tell you something. She's the type of person when she walks in the room, everybody just wants to talk to her. That's how her smile and the way she handles people. It's, She's way smarter than me when it comes to education. Very brilliant woman, man. Let me tell you something. People just want, they, I guarantee you, they're not, they're not gonna take their eyes off her and they're gonna wanna talk to her all night. I promise you that. Cause that's how it is with anywhere we go. We go anywhere public. She's that, she just draws that attention. You know? People, people wind up loving her, man. They just love her. Cause she's that, she's that likable. She really is. And I'm happy because it's been a while since we've been out like this, you know? We've just had so much tragedy and so much, uh, you know, our minds have been just wandering and, you know. Gotta remember, she lost a child that she buried, so that's been hard for her. So this is a, this is more for her too tonight, man. So all I ask is just treat her with respect to whoever's gonna be there, please. Cause she is a very lovable person and likable person and you guys will love her, I promise you. Give her the opportunity to show you. 
You can hate on me all day long. I don't care about that. Just be, just be kind to her. That's all I ask. And I'm asking politely. I think that's pretty fair. She don't deserve, she don't deserve to be hated because of, because of my craziness. You don't know many times you tell me just ignore it. Don't be doing that. You know, you would, I know you got to fight, but the more you attack, the more they come. But, but I, but it weakens them every time they come. So it just makes me stronger. So, but she's pretty cool. You know, she's always like, you got to fight your fight. I understand. Go for it. You know, she just don't like when it, you know, they get, they talk about certain things people should be talking about. And people took it too far. You know, they did. You guys, a lot of people know that to be true. A lot of these people took it to a level they should have never went to. Because they think they're freaking smart asses or they think they're cool. They're not. Especially when you find out they got a family and they got little girls and little sons. And then, then they, that really chaps my ass more than anything. Motherfucker, you got a child at home and you're fucking doing the shit you're doing? Oh my God. What kind of person are you? Go look, your, go look your family in the eye and tell them what you do to people every day on the internet. And see and see what see what how their how your little girl, little boy's heart drops when you're looking at his eyes or her eyes. You're, you're, you're definitely not a human being. You're a scumbag. You do that. We ain't got family like that, like a like normal family. And you are not a good person, and you should be you should be tuned up really good to teach you a lesson. How certain people haven't been tuned up that amazes me because they hide. They don't really go out. They stay they stay sheltered. Nobody can get to them. That's why. That's what they do. <laughs> when I see Joey Hunter, he's a trap. All right, demon. All right. Listen, just don't be touching my, don't be trying to touch me or nothing, you know? That's all I'm going to say. You know, don't be trying to get all touchy feely with me, you know? All right? Well, I mean, we can shake our hands and hug, you know? A bump, you know? Boom. But don't be getting all freaky on me. All right? Promise me that. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding with you, buddy. Where'd I get that chain, Joey? I don't know. You really want to know? It was a gift from your mother. Love you, buddy. I love you too, Bob Levy. Love you, man. Everybody support Bob Levy version. The TSN Network, all my best friends. Julie Egard is a, is a true gentleman. Bob Levy's a true gentleman. Mike Moore's a true gentleman. They're all, Joe, the producer, they're just wonderful people, man. They really are. They work hard. Nobody works harder than them, man. You know, I just wish I had their experience how they handle situations. They're trying to teach me, and I've learned a lot. You know, when, when, when Shuli gets mad at me because of something I'm doing stupid, he'll believe me. He's on that phone. Listen, that's not you. I don't want to see that. You're better than that. Bob's the same way. Come on. That's a friend. That's a friend when they, when they, when they take the time to do that. They care enough to tell you, come on, you're better than that. That's a friend. Hack right. Every day would send me inspirational things and talk to me every day. This went on for months. A friend. Mason of Portland, Ronnie Mon. these are guys, Ross, all the new people. I mean, there's so many names. I can, I can name the people that have, those are people that care. You know, I'm grateful for the, have the group of people that, that I've gotten close with over the three months. You know, I couldn't have did this without their wisdom. Everybody can learn and I would like to learn and absorb learning. I'm not better than nobody, and I'm not smarter than the next person. I like to learn, especially if it betters me. We all make mistakes, but trust me, I always try to be a human being and decent person, even with all the bad I have done or, or the craziness I've done. I still am a, at a heart of gold, you know. You know, I'll tell you a story, funny, real story. I had this guy that lived across from me. <laughs> he was our neighbor and he was kind of crazy looking and one day he pulls up 
I was having a garage sale, and he pulled his Jeep from across the street. I was living out in uh, by Ocala, and he gets out of his Jeep. And goes, hey, I'm Johnny, your neighbor. He goes, you wouldn't have any uh, uh, a glass bowl, you know, bubble. And I was like, this guy just fucking walked in the car and asked me for a bubble. You know what that is, right? A bubble. And I'm like, this motherfucker, he's a cop or he's crazy. And he just started ramming over. And I go, and I just laughed. And he was a he was a real loudmouth guy. But I'm gonna tell you a funny story. I didn't recognize him when when he came across the street, but. Him and I had crossed paths 25 years earlier, and I'll get to that in a minute. So he he was he could be a pain in the ass. He he was a drug addict. He would come beat him because I had my office in the garage, and he knew I was I was still partying then. You know, this was this was some time ago, and uh, he knew I was always in that garage tweaking. You know what I'm saying? So he'd pound on my back door and scream, "Man, you got any shit, man?" And I'm like, "Johnny, I'm gonna knock the fuck out of you, man. I got neighbors, man. Shut the fuck up. It's two o'clock in the morning." And uh, one day, him and my son tied into it. Well, I went into protective mode real quick. And he came out to me and he goes, you need to set your son straight or I will. Oh, that was it. I open slapped his ass across. And my friend Kyle, who just passed away three weeks ago, I hit him so hard with open hand. He went from the front of the garage, halfway into the garage. And when I went to go fucking hit him, he goes, he started crying. Please don't hurt me, don't hurt me, please. I felt so bad that the next three months, I went out of my way to make it right. On open hand slap, he went flying. He was, he, he was like 120 pounds wet, man. And he was just, he just rubbed you the right, you already could take him in small doses. And we became good friends and then he moved away. He wanted to go to uh, Massachusetts and he just wanted to get out of Florida and he wanted to give up drugs and he got to Massachusetts and he, him and his wife rented the room from an ad paper and she went to Ohio to visit her kids. He OD'd. He just moved into the place and they found him dead on his floor. And I got a call that he was gone. And then, you know, and I always think about that. So now 25 years ago, not maybe longer than that, in 1984, or maybe it was 82, he was in Vegas. He was called the chef. Not a chef meaning he was a chef because he made drugs. He was a legitimate chef. He was one of the biggest, he was one of the big mob guys that was in Vegas, his personal chef and driver. Well, he was a very arrogant guy, but he was he was a guy that, he had a girl on every arm. This guy had some of the, this is how he was. I mean, he was fly, good looking guy, dressed to the max, made a lot of money, but he was a personal cook to this mob guy. And he rubbed some guys the wrong way and they beat him up. And they went to a certain individual and I happened to be out one day when these guys were going to be hurting him, and I knew who he was. So I went to those guys. I said, you, you guys, if you guys go after this guy without permission, which you'll never get, you're burying yourself. And they went to go stab him, and I got right in the middle for him and stuck up for him, and I saved him. And never saw the guy again. And then we were talking about Vegas, and he goes, holy shit. I'm the guy. I go, wait. I looked at him. I go, you're the fucking cook. He goes, that's right. I go, you had, I told him that night to a T, he goes, and he told me, he goes, that was you. I never got to thank you. Is that a small world or what? Because he was a pretty connected guy, but he just was, he was a coke head. And he busted out some coke to some mob guys and got loud with him because he knew who he worked for. And he was just flexing his muscles when he wasn't, he shouldn't have been doing that. He should have been silent. He didn't have that power to do that. He wasn't a made guy or nothing, man. He was just a, a guy that was well liked because who we worked for, personal driver and his personal chef. And so he thought that was gonna carry weight that he could just walk around and trash on everybody. And he went to step to a couple made guys that wanted to kill him. And I saved his eyes, I saved his life. I saved his life and he remembered it like we both did. Sat down for hours and told, we talked about that night. I couldn't believe it. I almost turned, I, I almost like, like got woozy, passed it out thinking about it, damn. It was so surreal. Another guy that they died for a drug overdose. He died of fentanyl overdose a few years ago. You know, I remember one day he was so messed up. He came to me. He goes, "Listen, I just took a health, uh, a life insurance policy. I can't take life no more. I want to die. Help me kill myself." I said, "You're fucking crazy. Get out of here. I don't play that shit." I talked him out of it. He goes, "No, but make sure." He gave me this lockbox. He said, "Here's the light. Make sure my wife gets this." He said, "If you, 
if you if you help me OD suicide, you can't get paid out. But if I OD, I said, I'm not no part of this. You're not going to do this. I went to his wife and told him what he was talking. And, uh, and she got all in his ass. But he's wind up dying. In the and I believe he took his own life. Man. He hated life, man. He was so, from the guy he was, a younger man, and how he, how he had connections, he just wound up another deadbeat drug addict, man. And that's why I, I decided I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to die. And that's why I made it strong and I got done doing them. So I'm, I'm done with them. So, I mean, that's one of my wildest stories, man. But anyhow, I appreciate all the support. I mean, if you guys want to help me make the goal, I'm 200 away from the goal. I got everything. Someone helped me this morning and a couple, someone helped me very good. A good friend of mine helped me last week to get all the things I needed because, uh, I was had I had my son's car for a year, and I had, to, I had to get my plate insurance on my van, and I had to take care of some other things. And I got all that done, so I've been blessed with people to help me. So we're touring away for the goal, so I can have a wonderful weekend with the WATP and all the boys. So again, PayPal at Joey C zero one two zero Venmo Joseph Dash Catalano Dash forty seven is Venmo. Uh, my Cash App is Money Sign. Adrian, Joey C. Adrian boy. Well, uh, listen, if you got banned from TSN, it's a very hard place. The only way you get banned with TSN is if you dox people. I truly, truly don't like that. And and so, and Joe had to have a good reason. Those are good people over to us that, you know, if you show remorse, they're very nice people. They might let you back in someday. They will, They'll, they forgive. They're good people. Trust me, when TSN people are all good people, you know, but they're professionals. They got a business to run, so you got to respect that. You know, I, I was thrown out of there. Shuli had to put me out of his chat room for five months. Trust me, he taught me some valuable lessons. I always go hard, me and Shuli used to go back and forth, and Shuli taught me a lesson. But when he saw me making a change, and one day I went on, I said, I'm willing to listen. And that's all he had to hear, that I'm willing to listen to people that know. And we, he forgave and gave me back a chance. Joe, Joe was still mad at me. He didn't want to let me in the chat room. But Shuli goes, Joe, let, no, let's let him back in. And Shuli did. And then Joe and I became good friends. I love Joe, man. So they're good people. Trust me when I tell you. There's no better group, 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 group than the TSN. Bob Levy is the it, – it, it's like the formula of Shuli, Bob Levy, Mike Morris, and Zen now in the, in the mix, and Joe and Don. You, you, you couldn't have a better team. Bob Levy's got a wonderful wife, Gina. Shuli's got a wonderful family. You know, Bob, Bob, biggest thing to me is just have fun. When you put the mic down, be with your family and be happy. Bob, Bob is so right, man. And you can't take too many things serious. It's nothing's worth making yourself sick like I was doing to myself. And Bob used to try to pound on me every day. He always never won negative. Nobody at TSN ever was negative to me. Always, always had a handout to help me with advice, you know, bringing me on the show, helping me with money, you know, just wonderful people, man. Call me when they know I was might be sick, just to call, check on me on a Sunday. Shuli would call me. Bob would call me from time to time. Shuli would just, I, I, I just worried about you, buddy. You're going to text me in a couple of days. You're all right? Just being a friend. Hack rights every night, giving me great wisdom. I've been blessed. So you guys see in your heart to help me make this goal. I got to go get ready, man. It's a big night for me. I'm, I'm so pumped up. I'm excited and nervous at the same time because I'm finally going to meet some real peers of podcasters that I've done work with. I've worked, I've been on Carl's several couple times. I, I've uh, Tukey, I've talked to quite a bit. Cardiff, and Cardiff's been on my show. He's he's tor tormented my show a few times, but I love Cardiff. They're all good people, man. I really do mean that. I get to meet Vinnie Paulino. I kind of. I owe him an apology. I told him he wasn't a good Italian. I should have never said that to him. The <laughs> video turned out to be one of the greatest Italians around, so I hope he, I hope he, uh, he's cool with me because I like Vinnie Paulino. You know, he's a class act, so. All right, I'm gonna go now. Thank you, have a wonderful night. And I'll be keeping informed from once I get to the show, okay? Thank you, bye. <laughs>